mobile components testing in this lecture we are going to study about the mobile components testing when doing mobile phone repairing we need to check mobile phones components such as battery power ic charging ic vibrator etc let us start understanding that how different components test first we begin with battery a battery is an electrochemical cell that can be charged electrically to provide a static potential for power or release electrical charge when needed how to test battery turn off your cell phone and open up the battery compartment remove the battery and set it down on a flat surface so the terminals are facing you identify the two terminals on the battery that are labeled with positive and negative sign then look on the battery label to fi find how much voltage it is rated turn the dial on your digital multimeter so it is set to read dc volts this is indicated by the letter v with both solid and dotted lines above it touch the tips of the red probe to the terminal label positive keep them in contact while you press the tip of the black probe to the terminal label negative check the digital reading on your multimeter to see how much charge the battery has in this case the battery has a 4 volt dc charge it means it is fully charged power ic and cpu power ic is supply the current to the whole part of the phone the supply of the current can only work if there is battery cpu the full form of cpu is central processing unit the performance of the cpu that is at the core of the chipset is vital for the daily user experiences and general computing performance of the smartphone it controls all the section of mobile phone how to test power ic and cpu first adjust the voltage of the dc power to 4.2 place the red probe or test lead of the dc power supply to the positive of the battery connector of the mobile phone and the black probe if dc power is over 6 it means that cpu is damaged check by replacing power ic and cpu one by one if there is no movement on the amper needle of the power supply then the battery connector on or off switch track rtc on network crystal is damaged give heat to the component by using hot air gun if the problem is not solved then check by replacing them one by one if the amper needle fluctuates below 2 then there could be a problem of software or rtc that is real time clock if the amper needle stands at some fixed point then there is a problem with the flash ic if there is beep sound from the dc power supply then there is a problem with positive and negative on the mobile handset is short ringer a ringer is a sound made by telephone to indicate an incoming call or text message The term is most often used today to refer customizable sound used on mobile phone. How to test ringer? To check if the ringer of a mobile phone is faulty or damaged, use multimeter for mobile phone and repairing. Keep the multimeter in buzzer mode and check the ringer. If value must be between 8 to 10 OHMS, if the value is between this range, then the ringer is good and it does not need replacement. If the value is of multimeter is between 4.5 or 12 to 14 then change the ringer vibrator vibrator have become one of the generic component in most mobile phones vibrating alerts are primarily used when a user cannot hear the ring how to test vibrator vibrator alert test with the help of multimeter if value is between 8 to 16 If the value is between 8 to 16 then the vibrator is good otherwise change it check vibrator setting in mobile phone and check if vibrator is on or off speaker speaker is used to listen music and calls it is a small device how to test speaker check the speaker with the help of multimeter on buzzer mode value must be between 25 to 35 if the value is in this range then the speaker is okay otherwise it need to be changed mic cell phone have such tiny mic that is incredible to reproduce sound how to check mic 
Keep the multimeter in buzzer mode and check the microphone. Value reading on the multimeter must be between 600 to 1800. There will also be a beep or buzz sound from the multimeter. Capacitor. It contains at least two electric conductors separated by the insulator. It is expressed as the ratio of electric charge Q on each conductor to the potential difference V between them. It is used to store energy in an electric field. How to test capacitor? Check it with the multimeter on buzzer mode. If it is good, then the multimeter will not give beep or buzz sound. If there is sound, then it means that capacitor is faulty. Replace it with a new one. Coil and transformer. In your cell phone charger, there is something called transformer which consists of two coils of wire. One of those coils always have electricity running through it when it is plugged in. The other coil which is plugged into your phone will allow electricity through it by something called inductance since the coils are not directly connected. How to test transformers and coil? Coil. Check it with the multimeter on buzzer mode. If it is good, then it is a multimeter will give a beep or buzz sound. If there is no sound, then the coil is faulty. Transformer. Transformer are tested by measuring the resistance of the copper wire on the primary and secondary. If the multimeter show are infinite, it means the coil is either poorly connected or turns are disconnected at some point. On off switch. Check voltage with a multimeter. Keep multimeter on 20 volt DC and check. Value must be between 2.5 to 3.7 volts. If the value is over to that value, it means that your on-off switch device is faulty. LED LED are used for displays for keypad or display backlighting. Bright white LED also can be used as a flashlight. Flashes for mobile phone. How to test LED? Keep the multimeter in buzzer mode and check the LED. If the LED is good, then they will glow otherwise not. Fuse. How to test fuse? Just set the multimeter to X1 and put both test probe to both end side of the fuse. A full reading here to zero or continuity check is full. Without any reading means the fuse is already busted. This you can see in the slide. Now you can easily test mobile components. Thank you.